Well, last year, ICANN hosted 2,350 leaders from 24 states, and organizers are bracing for an even greater response this year. The theme, shift, capitalizing on transformation. The focus definitely includes business, but isn't limited to that. Uh, no, Allison Shore and Marcia Grace are here with that preview. Good morning. Nice Thanks to for have stopping you back. Good, Good morning. morning. Yeah. Thank so you. what have you built into this theme this year? Tell us about it. All right, so transformation is our keyword for 2016. Uh, there's a couple reasons we decided to do that. One, we're celebrating the 35th anniversary of ICANN here in Omaha, so we're excited about that. Um, and also, we've seen a lot of transformations taking place in the workplace. Everything from women now mm -hmm. being 58% of the workforce. Mm -hmm. There's a record number of generations in the workforce now that is um, a big topic of interest for a lot of the leaders that we work with um, in the organizations here in Omaha. Um, and also just the growing influence of philanthropy and technology in the workplace. We've wrap that all into our theme of shift, capitalizing uh -huh. on transformation. This is, and we see it on the screen, 2016 Women's Leadership Conference. Are men welcome? Marcia. Marcia. I'll take that one. <laughs> <laughs> men are welcome. Um, I work for an organization, Woodman Life, that we've, in the past uh, five years, have always had men apply and go mm -hmm. for a couple different reasons. Yeah. We are like many Omaha Metro organizations. We're 70% women in our home office, and it is a great practice for men to go, to hear the trends, to learn as much as they can, be around all that greatness. <laughs> a good place to be. Listen, just be surrounded by it. What in the heck did these guys do 50 years ago when there weren't as many women in the workplace? I mean, you guys. Oh, well, uh, they were probably. You're so dang organized for one. Far less and effective. You're, you're way smarter. But uh, let's let's spend a minute talking about the main stage because there's different keynote speakers yes. that are coming. Okay. Who, who's coming? The top name on this list stood out to me. Oh, yeah, but yeah walk us through these. If you would, well, Mrs. Cuddy yeah. is the one I'm thinking about. You're excited about? Um, I am, but yeah, tell us about all four of these speakers, if you would. Sure. So um, we've got a great lineup of keynotes on our main stage this year. Kind of one of the key ones is mm -hmm. Amy Cuddy, who we're really excited to have from the Harvard Business School. She has one of the, the second most watched TED Talk mm -hmm. on TedTalk.com on the role of your body presence and your body language and your leadership. So she's going to have a great message on the main stage for us as well. Um, do you want to talk a little bit about Kurt Steinhorst? Our I'll let morning? you talk about him. I will. <laughs> Well, like passing yeah, passing it back and forth. Um, so Kurt is going to talk about, he's from the Center of Generational Kinetics, and he's going to talk about that role of the generations and how the title of his topic is Crossing mm -hmm. the Generational Divide. So how can leaders in the workplace today cross that divide? How can leaders in the middle lead up, lead yeah. down, the baby boomers, the millennials? And how do, you, how do you relate to people who are, you know, 20-something coming out of college? That's yeah. what a lot of employers talk about mm -hmm. is like, I don't, I, don't, I don't speak their language. I don't understand what they're mm -hmm. saying. So mm -hmm. I, I get what you're well, saying. There's a huge gap there because of the technology gap yes. between mm -hmm. those different generations. Mm -hmm. Exactly. We had two more people on that list. Sure. Um, so since you mentioned technology, Reshma Sajani is going to be one of our afternoon keynotes, and she's the co-founder of a nationwide organization called Girls Who Code. Uh -huh. um, and that's taking a stab at that technology and that that's STEM right, for true. young girls and educating them with clubs across the country. I think we did a, we talked to her via satellite a few years ago yeah. when, yeah. when this movement was sort mm -hmm. of lifting off, and she has continued that in a big way on a national mm -hmm. level. Like, she's it. <laughs> she yeah. is it. She is. And, and then Carla Harris. Carla Harris. I know ex Marsha's excited about her. Uh -huh. I'm very excited. I think part of it is um, she leads in a financial arena like a lot of women. People don't know that Omaha is has so many dynamic leaders. And I think of all the leaders, people will relate to her the most. Mm -hmm. um, looking at the leader of ICANN, um, Susan Henricks, it has definitely walked in, in Carla's steps as well. So I think the other piece is she's a singer, mm -hmm. and I don't know if she'll dazzle us with that presence too, but her story is phenomenal. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. And people, if you're watching at home, ICANNglobal.net, pull it up right now and check it out. But while they're doing that, uh, describe ICANN's partnership with the American Heart Association. Mm -hmm. Sure. So um, one of the things we started last year is we wanted to integrate um, a feature of another organization in the community doing really great work. So last year we were excited to feature the Food Bank of the, mm -hmm. the Heartland. This year it's the American Heart Association. Um, cardiovascular diseases are the number one killer of women and when we were reminded of that fact by our local chapter we were thinking that's the perfect organization to feature this year mm -hmm. in front of an audience of 2,500 women. So they're going to be featured throughout the day of ways that women can shift to greater heart health, 
take steps towards a healthier lifestyle, and there'll be some fun things there too. So we've mm -hmm. got a lot of exciting things to feature about the great work I of love, the American I love Heart that. Association. No, because we have them on the show, and mm -hmm. heart disease is something that's you know impacted most of us. Um, and so looking at that prevention picture, especially mm -hmm. this month, Heart Month, but I know coming up off the hills of that and getting mm -hmm. like doing something to continue that interest. Yeah. Um, the leadership conference is coming on April 6th. You do need to register for it, and you can do that online at ICANGlobal.net, the app um, that was big last Last year, that's back this year. <laughs> um, but mm -hmm. to bring in all of these speakers, um, it's a big deal. And it so, is. how many people are you expecting this year again? We're expecting 2,500, so yeah. it'll be uh, the largest we have yet. That's huge. Mm -hmm. Good stuff, guys. Yeah, we're really Thank, you so Thank you so much. Thank you very much.